ಹಾ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಶುರು ಮಾಡೋದಾ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ನಾನ್ ರೆಡಿ ಸರ್ ನೀವು ಶುರು ಮಾಡಿ ಆದ್ರೆ ಶುರು ಮಾಡ್ತೇನೆ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರಗಳು ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಇನ್ವೈಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸೌಭಿ ಕುಮಾರಿ ಟಾಕ್ ಆನ್ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಯು ಶ್ಯೂರ್ ಸರ್ ಸೋ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸೌಮ್ಯ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿ ಎಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೂರ್ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಬಿ ಎಡ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೂರ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ವಿಟ್ ವಿಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ so madam publish some papers like mechanical properties of polyester water along with k nadrajan mp manjana yashavanta bm and also ir ij or eet international journal of research of engineering and technology issn 2319163 and also one more properties of ampen pure unsaturated polyester water as building material along with r radhakrishna k niranjan ranadrajan and also international journal of 3 years volume 5 number 3 and also they presented some papers during national conferences like presented a paper of compressive strength and models of elastic elasticity of polyester water at the dbit during national conference on prototypes of challenges in chemistry on 10 11 october 2013 and also she presented a paper on mechanical properties of polyester motor at the dr ait during the national seminar on recent research and developments in civil engineering on 27 28 march 2014 and also they presented one more paper mechanical properties of unsaturated polyester with methyl methyl methacrylate at an additional cross linking agent potential matrix for polyester motor applications at st joseph college of engineering bangalore during national conferences on current trends in scientific research for engineering applications on 17 to 18 july 2014 thank you madam over to you <laughs> thank you thank you sir and uh, it's all like a, a small uh, i can say introduction sir has given me so much uh, but uh, we have done very little to the science society we can say in terms of research and, 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 uh, and one minute madam and also i i, I forget it I, and i also i invite our uh, uh, academy ceo chief executive officer dr ramesh sir okay. and also i invite our academy president uh, dr ayyappan sir okay thank you thank you thank sir you. welcome welcome sir thank you sidhe gowda sir and thanks for the opportunity uh, that at least i think uh, uh, this is the first time where i am uh, giving a lecture uh, in the ksta uh, program and uh, i really found it like very much interesting that you people are trying to cater the knowledge to the people who are in need that is very important about uh, this academy i i understood actually and uh, thanks for the opportunity so my topic for today i have selected fundamental of uh, organic reaction mechanism as when i spoke to sir sir told me to take any of the first puc or second puc science uh, topic that is especially chemistry so i thought this is a topic where the students should have the clarity so that i think they can um, uh, do much better because as you know basically i am a chemistry teacher in a base educational private limited where we work for uh, students uh, coach them into the uh, neat examination so we when i speak to the students and 
ನನಗೆ ಮೊದಲೇದಾಗಿ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಅಂದ್ಕೂಡ್ಲೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ತುಂಬಾ ಭಯ ಪಡ್ತಾರೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಹಾಗೆ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿಗೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ತುಂಬಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಕಲಿಯೋದು ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಒಂಥರ ಭಯ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇದೆ ಹೇಗ್ ನೆನ್ಪಿಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಅಂತ ಸೊ ವೇರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ಸ್ ಒಂದ್ ಚೂರು ನಮಗೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಏನು ಅಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ನೀವು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಐ ಥಾಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಎ ಲೆಟ್ಲ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಲರ್ನ್ ಟು ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಐ ಬಿ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಸರ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತ So, uh, when we talk about any chemical reaction, uh, especially in organic chemistry, we take up a sequence of reaction that is, uh, we will take one substrate, we call it as a substrate, uh, followed by, we will make use of attacking reagent here, attacking reagent, and then this two will react together and most of the times we will be having in organic reaction something called intermediate followed by this intermediate will be highly highly unstable that's how we will always put it into a square bracket indicating that that is not the ultimate it will be definitely going to yield into the products and definitely we know when we talk about organic reactions you can see if we look into the medical aspects any medicine that we consume starting from the very basic requirement dolo 650 or it may be any rantac or anything we will find all of them are organic molecules and sometimes out of interest ni venadru adru olgade onnond sathi nam sigutte prescription some compounds bardirtare neeva compounds tek nodidre you will find all organic molecules hanging over there yavudu simple agirala definitely all structures will be bit complicated that's how namge enagutte andre organic chemistry bandaga application industry li thumba ide okay so this is the way of we carry out the reactions in the laboratory that we say take a suitable substrate and attacking reagent followed by we will convert them into product ek simple language alli helbeku antandre this substrate and attacking reagent now enu anta karithivi usually yavade reaction andre namde one point barodu there are reactants and products anta heltivi so idu eradu together we can call them as reactants and definitely our end product is here maybe sometimes we end up in one single product or may end up in two products okay product and by product anta karithivi now so ega namge yavade organic chemistry reaction na nodadaga how we will identify substrate how we will identify attacking reagent yavaglu whether there is a intermediate or not okay yen product barbodu all those things with small knowledge fundamentals in the we can predict okay that's where nimge puc nallo adu ontara major topic agirutte yav tara reaction proceed agutte yen product barutte anodanna keltare jaasti time so here this reactants what i put together put a term for one is called substrate another one is called attacking reagent simple way how can we define a substrate anta annodu so this is our target so this is what i want to convert into product maybe for that i need one reagent which may convert this one into product that's how we can simply understand the term i'm very sure in your school itself you have studied about this particular reaction let me consider here methane ellarigu parichay irutte methane ee reaction na school alle odirthira neevu high school alle so methane if i make it to react with chlorine okay chlorine in presence of light anta heltivi this reaction is carried out in presence of light or you can go for little help of heat okay so we have seen the hydrogen of methane so for the easy purpose nan methane na ch4 i have shown you a bond here so that you can understand how the reaction takes place anta nodu so we have formation of methyl chloride so you have seen this methyl chloride further it gets converted into carbon tetrachloride all that is there first we will take up this and along with that i can find a by product here that is hydrochloric acid right ee reaction nimage gottirodrinda i have chosen this a very simple reaction iga if i look at this i had a methane here i am converting that one into methyl chloride so my substrate is methane so methane i call it as a substrate 
meaning there is a direct one statement we will say for substrate andre yenu antandre for the product whichever supplies the carbon that is known as a substrate so you can find in the methyl chloride the carbon comes from methane so we call it as a substrate okay now this cl that is a chlorine we have one of the chlorine is substituting this hydrogen you can understand very easily i have cleaved this bond and i have framed a ccl bond that means one atom is substituted by another atom so we call this kind of reactions as substitution reactions and how the reaction proceeds attacking reagent yav roopadalli barutte ant artha maadkobekadre we have certain conditions given for us maybe the light is favoring the reaction or heat is favoring the reaction ee tara when i take a chlorine you have learnt basics of chemical bonding i have two chlorine atoms bonded together here right so by sharing of electron right so this bond which is present between the two chlorine atoms we will call it as a non polar covalent bond all this basics you have learnt in chemical bonding non polar covalent bond means if the bonded atoms have no difference in the electronegativity hope you remember the term electronegativity eno anta now heltivi electronegativity andre eradu atom ಆಟಮ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೋ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ನೆಗೆಟಿವಿಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕಂಪಾರಿಷನ್ ಈ ಆಟಮ್ ಈ ಆಟಮ್ ಎರಡು ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಲೈನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಟೂ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಯಾವ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟಿ ಇರುತ್ತೋ ತನ್ನತ್ತ ತಗೊಳ್ಳುವಂಥದ್ದು ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ನ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ನೆಗೆಟಿವಿಟಿ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ಎರಡು ಈಕ್ವಲಿ ಶೇರ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಇಂಥ ಬಾಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ನಾನ್ ಪೋಲಾರ್ ಕೋವಲೆನ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಈ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲೀವ್ ಹೋಮೋಲಿಟಿಕಲಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ ಆಗಿ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಹೋಮೋಲಿಟಿಕಲಿ ಈಗ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಒಂದು ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ತಗೊಳುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಒಂದು ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ತಗೊಳುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಹೋಮೋಲಿಟಿಕ್ ಕ್ಲೀವೇಜ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ one chlorine with a single electron we call it as free radical so that is coming over here so we take this reaction as a example for free radical substitution anta heltivi so two things we understood one is substrate which provides the carbon for the final product another one which species attacks the substrate that is called attacking reagent here i have taken the species as the free radical okay ma'am where is the intermediate in this case we will intermediate bardidira andre if i look into the mechanism of this reaction definitely i'll get an intermediate of this kind i have shown the homolytic cleavage no one electron goes to this one electron goes to this this methyl with that single electron will be the intermediate which is called a methyl free radical maybe in im schools alli you might have written this mechanism free radical mechanism anta bardirtira okay so this is a methyl free radical. radical intermediate agi baruthe then it will interact with this and forms the final product so iga what something what i understood is uh, reagent attacks the substrate and forms the product one bond is cleaved and a new bond is formed so electron transfer i understood from how the electron bond cleavage happens from where to where the electron transfer happens and also how much energy is required for this if i say light and heat salpa energy bekagutte bond cleavage ge right and when the bond forms energy will be definitely released and yes to fast agi reaction agutte ivella put together we will learn it as a organic reaction mechanism understanding about bond cleavage okay electron transfer energy involved in the electron or the bond cleavage followed by how fast reaction takes place put together we learn it as a reaction na mechanism mechanism okay now initially we will understand how the bond cleavage happens in a substrate so substrate and then pit ko beku you should understand one which provides the carbon sometimes on one side we have substrate and attacking reagent both will provide the carbon then i will relate it as a yavud reaction maartta idivi iga for example nan rasam maartini ant antini so when i prepare a rasam i'll specify nan whether i am preparing a bele rasam maartta idina athwa tomato rasam maartta idina rasam product okay but i will be having one quantity in excess maybe bele rasam ge you will put more of bele right and tomato rasam maadidre namage more of tomato you will use so in that case ige eradu enadru carbon na provide maartta ide product ge ant andaga yavudru bagge maatadta idini yavudu nange jaasti quantity nalli ide yavudradu bagge reaction maartta idini based on that i will decide which is the substrate okay this is the basic idea i will get okay now i will understand how the bond cleavage takes place here so we uh, that is very very important okay bond 
ಫಿಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಎ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಫಿಷನ್ ಫಿಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಕ್ಲೀವೇಜ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೀವೇಜ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಅರ್ಧಕ್ಕರ್ಧ ನಿಮ್ದು ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಈಸಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ಕೋವಲೆಂಟ್ ಬಾಂಡೇ ಇರೋದು ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ರೇರ್ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅಯೋನಿಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಮೇಜರ್ಲಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕೋವಲೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆಗ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಮೇನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ನೆಗೆಟಿವಿಟಿ ಸೊ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ನೆಗೆಟಿವಿಟಿ ಅನ್ನೋ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ಇರಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅದಿದ್ ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಸಿ ಎ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ನೋಡಿದ್ ಕೂಡ್ಲೆ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೀವೇಜ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಹೇಗ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಡ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಫಿಷನ್ ಹೇಗಾಗತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೀವೇಜ್ ಹೇಗಾಗ್ಬೋದು ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕಿಂಗ್ ರಿಯಜೆಂಟ್ ನು ತರಬಹುದು ನಾನು ಸೊ ಫಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಟೂ ವೇಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಪುಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ನೀವು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ನ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಸೊ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಹಾವ್ ದ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ದ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ನೆಗೆಟಿವಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಲೆಸ್ ದನ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ನೆಗೆಟಿವಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಈ ಟರ್ಮ್ ವಟ್ ಐಮ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಖೈ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ನೆಗೆಟಿವಿಟಿ ಗೆ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೆ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಎ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ನೆಗೆಟಿವಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದನ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ನೆಗೆಟಿವಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಆಗ ಏನರ್ಥ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ನೆಗೆಟಿವಿಟಿ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಪೋಲಾರ್ ಕೋವಲೆಂಟ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಪೋಲಾರ್ ಕೋವಲೆಂಟ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ದ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಡೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೋರ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಕ್ಲೀವ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಯು ಮೇ ಆಸ್ ಮಿ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ನೀವು ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆನೆ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಬಟ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಮೂರ್ ಇದೆ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಗು ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಗು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ನೆಗೆಟಿವಿಟಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪಾನೆ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇರೋದು ಸೊ ಹಾಗೇನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದಷ್ಟು ಪೋಲಾರ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಪೋಲಾರ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಪೋಲಾರ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಗು ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಗು ತುಂಬಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ನೀವು ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ನ ಹೇಗ್ ಪ್ರೆಡಿಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲೀವೇಜ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ಬೋತ್ ಈಗ ಒಂದು ಈ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೀವ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಬಾಂಡೆಡ್ ಪೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಅವೇ ಬೈ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಐಟಮ್ ನೋ ಡೌಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಒಂದ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟೆಡ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಟು ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ನಾವ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಓವರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಷನಲಿ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಬಾಂಡೆಡ್ ಇದ್ರಿಂದ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಇಂದ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಈಗ ಶೇರ್ ಆಗಿರೋ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಎರಡೂ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ತಗೊಂಡೋಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಾವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೋರ್ ಶೇರ್ ನಮಗೆ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಬಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಸ್
deficient anta karitivi this is electron deficient okay having sextet of electron electron deficient which is also can be called as electrophile later we will use this term electrophile and reno it is electron felicity that is loving electron loving it would like to have the electrons okay so at the same time you can new carbon new hybridization bagge odirtira chemical bonding alli if i take this carbon hybridization here that will be sp3 hybridized but the moment you got bonded pair sp3 hybridized andre four orbitals irutte idalli you have the four bond pairs irtave okay now when it comes to this you have 1 2 3 three bond pairs ide andre illi the carbon will change its hybridization to sp2 sp2 hybridized agutte aga one of the orbital that is p orbital on the carbon will be this will be shape should be same on either side okay may not appear this will be empty okay because why i am giving this information further you will learn about something called hyper conjugation inductive resonance at that time you need to have a clarity about when i take a carbocation why that is getting stabilized by hyper conjugation or by inductive all that you know need to understand means the structure you need to have a clarity so i have a empty p orbital this is p orbital i am indicating over here okay so this is a story of a carbocation so one species we will get when heterolytic so this bond is unequally shared right unequal cleavage so this cleavage we call it as hetero hetero term says that there is no equal sharing asymmetrical unequal so this bond cleavage is called heterolytic cleavage okay so one kind of heterolytic cleavage gives you carbocation fine now i will take another example over here what is that example let me take the same methyl group over here and attach it to any of the metal let me take lithium for explanation purpose okay you know lithium the electronegativity enirutte carbon ik compare madidre kadme irutte so electronegativity of carbon is more than electronegativity of lithium ಫೈನ್ ಹೀಗಿದ್ದಾಗ ಈ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಯಾವ ತರ ಕ್ಲೀವ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಯಾವ್ದು ಮೋರ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಬಾಂಡೆಡ್ ಪೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಬೈ ಹೋಮ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಹಿಟ್ರಿರೋಲಿಟಿ ಕ್ಲೀವೇಜ್ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸಿ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಅಪ್ರಾಪ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಆರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಈಸಿ ಸೊ you can see on the carbon i have placed a orbital that is sp3 hybridized orbital carrying a lone pair and three bond pairs so the hybridization was sp3 hope you can see the board till here kanistha idya sir yes so sp3 hybridized irutte so illu kuda the hybridization will remain as sp3 and lithium poor fellow papa lithium iddid ond electron na share madittu iga adik electron illa so it will carry a positive charge but carbon ill excess of electrons ide octet complete irutte but valence electron count madidre jaasti irutte hence it will carry a negative charge okay so ee tara negative charge bandaga we call it as a carbanion okay carbanion carbon with anion term nim ellarigu familiar Carb anything carries a negative charge we call it as carbanion so the first bond cleavage we understood is when you have a polar covalent bond can undergo heterolytic cleavage that means a bonded pair of electrons are taken away by one of the bonded atom ibru equal share agalla ಈಗ ಹೇಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಚಾಕ್ಲೇಟ್ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಒಂದೇ ಚಾಕ್ಲೇಟ್ ಇದೆ ಫೈವ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಅಂತ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಶೇರಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ನನಗ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಬೇಕು ಅವಳು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಎ ಟಗ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಈಕ್ವಲಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಎರಡು ಕಡೆ ಇದ್ರೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಹೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಟಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಒನ್ ಟೀಮ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಆ ಕಡೆಗೆ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲೂ ಹಾಗೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋನೆಗೆಟಿವಿಟಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನೇ ನಾವು ಹೇಳೋದು ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಎಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಟು ವಿತ್ಡ್ರಾ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಅದು ಯಾಲ್ ಯಾವ ಕಡೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆಯೋ ಆ ಕಡೆ ಬಾಂಡೆಡ್ ಪೇರ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಹೈಟ್ರಾಲಿಟಿ ಕ್ಲೀವೇಜ್ ಆದಾಗ ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಬೋ ಕ್ಯಾಟಿಯೋನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಥವಾ ಕಾರ್ಬಾನಿಯೋನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲೀವೇಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಈಗ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಟೇಕ್ ಅನದರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ what is that example so let us consider the first example what we have learnt right let me take here 
yes so um chlorine eta gotini chlorine iga chlorine namage gottu so so many processes in the uh, atmosphere aagta irutte pollution ella salpa odirthira new schools alli uh, ozone depletion hega aagta irutte free radical generate agutte adu ozone na attack madutte ivella odirthira andre eno free radical anno term na use madirthira new so iga chlorine hage right so chlorine enagutte iga h nu anta indicate madidini h nu is nothing but i am talking about a light over here athwa we can use a heating also heat na na usually triangle symbol use martiv heat so idishta alla there are few more conditions ig enagutte eradu same atom adaga nan already nimige helidini id enagutte non polar so we will be having this bond will be non polar iga ee bond cleave aadre yav tara cleave aagbeku non polar covalent bond eradu equally share maadkobeku so ಎರಡು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ನ ಒಂದ್ ಇದೆ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ನನಗೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಇದ್ ತಗೊಳುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅವ್ರವ್ರ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಅವ್ರವ್ರ ವಾಪಸ್ ತಗೊಂಡಂಗೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆದ್ರೂ ಅದನ್ನ ಆಟಮ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಈಗ ನಾವು ಯೂಶಲಿ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗರೇಷನ್ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತು ಎಷ್ಟು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೆವೆನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಈಗ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲೀವ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆನು ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅದ್ರ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿತ್ತು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಆಟಮ್ ಅಂತ ಯಾವತ್ತು ಕರೆಯಲ್ಲ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಫ್ರೀ ರಾಡಿಕಲ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಓಕೆ ಯಾಕೆ ನಾವು ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಫ್ರೀ ರಾಡಿಕಲ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಜನರೇಟ್ ಆಗಿರೋದು ಈ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೀವೇಜ್ ಇಂದ ಈ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೀವ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ನೀವು ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀರ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಆ ಆಟಮ್ ಏನ್ ಜನರೇಟ್ ಆಗಿದ್ಯೋ ಅದು ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರಲ್ಲ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಹೈ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಹೈ ಟೆಂಡೆನ್ಸಿ ಟು ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅದು ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಇರಕ್ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಹೈ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಅನ್ಪೇಡ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಬಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಗೊತ್ತೇ ಇದೆ ಅದ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಆಗಿರೋದೇ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಈಗ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ವಿತ್ ಸಫಿಶಿಯಂಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅಂತ ಅಂದಾಗ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೋ ಹೈ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಈ ಫ್ರೀ ರಾಡಿಕಲ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ನ ನಾವು ಚೈನ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋಸಿವ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸೋ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ದಮ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಎಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಸುಟೇಬಲ್ ಮೆಕಾನಿಸಮ್ ಟು ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಾಗ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸೇ ಪ್ರೀ ರಾಡಿ ಫ್ರೀ ರಾಡಿಕಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸಫಿಶಿಯಂಟ್ಲಿ ಹೈ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೋ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ರಾಡಿಕಲ್ ಬಟ್ ನೆವರ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಅ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಕೋಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಇವನ್ ದೋ ಇಟ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಈಗ ಇದೇ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ನಾನು ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಮೀಥೇನ್ ಜೊತೆ ಈ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ನಾವು ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಈಗ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಫ್ರೀ ರಾಡಿಕಲ್ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಈಗ ಈ ಫ್ರೀ ರಾಡಿಕಲ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಮೀಥೇನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ದರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಒನ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ಕ್ಲಿ ಹೋಮೋಲಿಟಿಕಲಿ okay so aga this will become me for me attacking reagent so in this substrate now this bond will cleave homolytically look at the arrows i am using so in the previous case i shifted completely now i am sharing equally fish hook arrow anta karitivi equal sharing so here now what happens this ch3 will be having a free radical over now look at it i can write this ch3 over like this okay and then we have a hcl formation anta i can take as a by product so this is called so we got it from methane so i call it as a methyl free radical iga if i look at the surrounding of carbon 2 4 6 7 so it is having octet incomplete so ee methyl free radical electron deficient matte okay electron deficient because there is a octet incomplete agirutte okay octet incomplete agirutte so and it will be having one unpaired electron dot indicates what electron okay because lewis dot structure odirthira nevu there lewis told you can indicate the valence electron with the help of dot that's why you call it as lewis dot structure okay so this dot is indicating the radical here free electron unpaired electron so hagagi methyl any free radical i can say okay along with it is electron deficient we can see
ಹೋಮೋಲಿಟಿಕ್ ಓಕೆ ಹೋಮೋಲಿಟಿಕ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಶೇರಿಂಗ್ ಹೋಮೋಲಿಟಿಕ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೋಮೋಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಶೇರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಶೇರಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಟ್ ಇರೋ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾಟಿಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆನೆಯಾನ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಹೋಮೋಲಿಟಿಕ್ ಲಿವೇಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಈಗ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಹಿಯರ್ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸೊ ದ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಹೆಚ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಾಂಡೆಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಆರ್ okay they will ask what could be the bond cleavage whether it is homolytic or heterolytic first you have to see three carbon attached to three hydrogen no change carbon is bonded to br this is more electronegative so definitely the cleavage in this case will be heterolytic giving you what one is methyl carbocation and bromide ion okay atwa if they can ask here if i have for example so h2o2 anta kodtare so illi yav tara cleavage agabodu ig if i see oxygen oxygen non polar bond here definitely this will undergo what a homolytic cleavage so by looking at the nature of bond you can decide whether homolysis is possible or heterolysis is possible okay so that you can predict what kind of intermediate so all this radical carbocation carbon ion and carbon free radical methyl free radical they are all called reaction intermediates okay so this is about the bond cleavage fine now after understanding the bond cleavage if i bring in now the attacking reagent substrate bage artha maadkondvi now one substrate nodid kudle can i decide what kind of cleavage will happen yes of course with some idea with the electronegativity difference i can decide what could be the bond cleavage ಈಗ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಲ್ಸ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಯಾರು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕಿಂಗ್ ರಿಯಜೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕಿಂಗ್ ರಿಯಜೆಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕಿಂಗ್ ರಿಯಜೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕಿಂಗ್ ರಿಯಜೆಂಟ್ ಈಗ ಫ್ಯೂ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಐಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಟನ್ ಮೀಥೇನ್ ವಿತ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಮೀ ಮೀಥೈಲ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ethene okay ethene and i will take a hbr okay hbr hydrogen bromide i'll get ethyl bromide ch3 ch2 br id innond reaction okay so ide tara iga for example illond benzene consider madana benzene and i will take here um ch3 cl okay in presence of one catalyst bekagutte idike anhydrous alcl3 anta aluminium chloride anta bekagutte so that nanige tallin sigutte ivella compounds nimage familiarity ide tallin sigutte and by product is hcl idu ondashtu reactions ithara thumba navu baritha hogbodu iga nanige illi one thing is clear carbon idike product ik baruvantadu idrinda so this is a substrate aga this will attack this so this is the attacking reagent illo no the carbon is provided by this so this is the substrate so this is attacking you can see br and h both are coming in so this is the attacking reagent illi benzene carbon provide madodu iga nodi idunu carbon provide madutte illu carbon ide illu carbon ide eradu provide madutte adre nanu idanna benzene reaction anta karithini aga idanna substrate anta tagothini and idanna nanu attacking reagent anta tagothini nan helidda rasam yavud martira anod important so i am carrying out the reaction of benzene adike nan adanna substrate anta karithini idu attacking reagent aitha iga illi ishtond attacking reagent ide aa attacking reagent yav tara irutte what is the nature of it ಈಗ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಈ ಎರಡು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ನ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಪೈ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಪೈ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಇದೆ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪೈ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ನೀವು ಬೇಸಿಕಲ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ರೆ ಪೈ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಹೇಗ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲ್ಯಾಟ್ರಲ್ ಓವರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಪಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂತೀವಿ ಅವ್ರ ಬಾಯ್ಟಲ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಲೂಸ್ಲಿ ಹೆಲ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಸಿ ಈ ಬೆನ್ಸೀನ್ ಅಥವಾ ಈಥೀನ್ ಅಂತ ಮೊಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಈಥೀನ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೈಲಿ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವಿ ಸೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೂಸ್ಲಿ ಹೆಲ್ಡ್ ಪೈ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ but this pi electron cloud iddage enagutte ee thara species na now electron rich substrate anta karithivi electron rich substrate anta karithivi because pi electrons hing delocalize aagta irutte so that's why electron richness anta heltivi alli aga ee attacking reagent idu electron rich artha maadkoli ee attacking reagent hegirutte so that should come in as what electron deficient yakandre eradu rich aadre enagutte 
there will be a repulsion. You also understood about something called electron electron repulsion, right? So, more electron means they will repel each other. So, this is electron rich substrate means your attacking reagent should be deficient. So, what happens here? This bond is polar H plus and Br minus. So, this H plus will come in first. So, this will take up the H plus. So, H plus part na nanen karitini. It is deficient, positive charge indicating deficient. Idna electrophile anta karitini. Okay, ah, the Br will come in. Ashtotike nimdu substrate electrophile agirate. Aga idu Br minus barbod. Ada amel loadana. Ega e case ali illi electron rich. Matte il nodi. Idu negative, idu positive. So hagagi e pi bond illi nimge e positive methyl carbocation. Natagote matte positive charge. Nive en nodta idira electrophile. So yavaga substrate rich agirato. Attacking reagent should be electron deficient. Illa andre reaction agala. E case alien agate, either neither rich nor deficient. Both are equal, right? Aga e bond, as I told, free radical agbeku. So aga ega illi attacking reagent in agate. With a dot, it will be free radical. Okay, free radical. One more example, Tagotini. Nivella uh, aldehydes you might be aware of, right? So I will take one acetaldehyde here, ethanol and the So if I take hydrogen cyanide here as an attacking reagent, this is my uh, product will be here. CH3, we have CH. OH barate, I am a cyanide barate ili. Okay? So new cyanide na idhika add marda angirate. Ii e molecule no dhre ni mige. Illi nodi. E carbon oxygen ige bond agi. Oxygen is more electronegative, so it has a delta negative. Carbon has a delta positive. Yaga na more electronegative, it will pull the electron. So the moment carbon feels deficient, oh, its electron density is taken away by oxygen, right? So positive idha ga. Illi H plus so cyanide negative. So he positive carbon ige. He negative end bandha attack madate. So he electron rich na na wo nucleophile anta karite. So, this example you are seeing nature of substrate and nature of attacking reagent. Substrate already now on salpa cleavage bagartha matkoni divi, but here non electron deficient and richness bagimata tadini. If the substrate is electron rich, attacking reagent will be definitely electron deficient, which is known as electrophile. If the substrate is electron deficient center or electrophilic center, then the nucleophile species bandu attack madate. So, hagagi attacking reagent ta now basically two types agi consider madate. One do electrophile, okay, electrophile, another one is nucleophile. Name itself is indicating. Electrophile means electrophilicity. Felicity term new Ella kade use madir tere even biology na lala hydrophilic kanta hele tere hydrophilic kanta water loving hydrophobic kanta hele tere water hating right. So ili electrophilic kanta electron loving nucleophilic kanta nucleus loving because idu nucleophile ali electron rich chire the nucleophile is indicated as Nu minus electrophile is indicated as E plus. So always Yao the deficient idio that look for richness. Yao the rich idio that will look for deficient. This is how combination of reagent and substrate will work. Based on that, I can understand all the reactions. So more to elaborate on that, right? Now if I say electrophile here, right? So it is electron deficient, I can understand along with that. That generally carries a positive charge, generally. But I didn't say always. Okay. Same as nucleophile and electron rich species. So that will generally carry a negative charge. But not always. Okay. So if I talk about here two things, one is electrophile, another one is nucleophile. Electrophile and nucleophile. So if you have a carbon with the negative part here, then the electrophile will get attached to it. So this negative charge takes up this and forms a bond over here. Okay. But if I have a carbon here with a positive charge, then it will react with always a nucleophile. Always observe from rich to deficient. I'm showing the arrow marks. That is the appropriate method. So this will get attached to like this. Okay. So this is electron here. I can say electrophile is electron deficient. Okay, electron deficient. Therefore, it is electron 
loving it look for the electron goes to the electron rich center so this carbon is now electron rich center okay and here this carbon is electron deficient center and the nucleophile is electron rich minus charge electron rich ilirutte okay so this is the main difference iga neevu matte further some chapters alli idike related agi topics novuttire yavudu adu iga deficient iddaga idu electron na seek madutte this will look for electrons that's why we call it as electron loving in acids and bases you will learn a term called lewis acids lewis acids are the one which acceptor of as like electrons so you are electrophiles are lewis acids illi this is nucleophile is a lewis base because it is giving the electron to somebody who is in need okay so lewis base is a electron rich so ee eradu term nu now relate madabodu hogta hogta when you study all the chapters there are more concepts which are interrelated so adike basics na you have to try to uh, like um, relate for all the higher topics what you study in second year okay those are in first year along with that now some examples if i give h plus na now always will call it as electrophile or there will be a chlorine with plus any plus indicates it is a electrophile along with that iga i will also call aluminum chloride as electrophile these are called neutral electrophiles yake antandre aluminum chloride alli it is bonded to three chlorine nimige chemical bonding in the octet rule you had a limitation unsatisfied octet incomplete octet anta so aluminum beryllium boron they all have incomplete octet so that incomplete octet makes it deficient that's why we call it as a electrophile here so need not be always electrophile carries a positive charge that can be having a incomplete octet like aluminum chloride or it has a d orbital which is vacant can accept the electron allu barutte electrophiles okay like for example sulfur trioxide idunu we will call it as electrophile okay usual indication positive charge haganta whether all positively charged species are electrophiles anta kelidre question definitely no iga for example sodium ion tagotini idu positive charge ide calcium ion tagotini illu positive charge ide are they electrophiles definitely no yakandre even though sodium has a positive charge adradu octet annodu complete iruthe octet complete aadaga they don't show any deficiency okay so this cations of alkali alkaline earth metals avella electrophiles alla even though they carry a positive charge so electrophile aagbeku andre it should have a deficiency octet incomplete irbeku okay that's how you have to understand coming to new lewis bases ig bandage iga nanu chloride ion na nucleophile ant anbodu because it has a negative charge electron richness negative charge indicates athwa hydroxide ions use martivi so this is also a nucleophile iga illella electron richness irutte now sometimes water na nucleophile anta karithivi we will call water also nucleophile and ammonia also nucleophile ill negative charge is not there but still they are nucleophiles how now you can see some dots i have written right what are these dots they are the lone pairs they are available for donation this is available for donation so what is a nucleophile electron rich right so electron richness is there in terms of uh, the lone pairs so that those lone pairs can be given so that's how i can identify a species a species i am taking sometimes charges will be there sometimes they appear neutral then by the knowledge of bonding knowledge of bonding i could be able to understand whether they are electrophiles or they are nucleophiles as to if you are could able to make out and understand what is the polarity in the molecule if i write some reaction you could be able to understand them as three reactions you have learnt right one is the substitution elimination and addition it's very easy to understand whether that addition or substitution or elimination initiated by electrophile or a nucleophile okay so i'll give you a few examples here how the questions will be asked that will be like there in your mind right how so generally if you talk about a board examination or elaborate question they will usually ask you to write a difference between electrophile and nucleophile so you can say electrophile is electron deficient looks for electron electron loving nucleophile is electron rich looks for nucleus okay electron deficient center any deficient species attacks rich center any rich species will attack deficient center and they are called lewis 
assets and these are called uh, Lewis bases. So these are the terms you can use to differentiate uh, those things. OK, now if I write few examples here, OK, I'll take a uh, CH3 NH2 and try to identify them as uh, electrophiles or nucleophiles. OK, I will write here BR plus. OK, I will take here CH3 OH. One more example I'll take here NH4 plus. OK, one more example. Let me add here. That is a BF3. I have some simple molecules written over the board. You have to like identify what is electrophile and what is nucleophile here. If I see this, you are very sure there is a positive charge. Positive charge indicates that we have a deficiency in the bromine, right? So this will be definitely electrophile. I will go from easy one. OK. Now, if I look this, uh, you have a positive charge. Haganta, if you immediately say it is electrophile, definitely you are wrong. You can't say that. Then, yen artha markoveko, I see the nitrogen. It is bonded with how many hydrogens? Students here, four hydrogens. Hig bari beko bonding. Yiga, look at the nitrogen. Yes, electrons are surrounding this nitrogen. Two, four, six, eight. Eight electrons are there. Octet complete agi de. Okay, octet complete agi de. But still has a positive charge. Then a formal charge assign marti vi. So octet complete iro drinda. This is neither an electrophile nor a nucleophile. There is no electrons excess also. Not even electron deficient also perfect octet is complete. So this is neither electrophile nor nucleophile. Then now I'll look into the first species in something nitrogen. You can see NH2 and how this nitrogen will be bonded to the two hydrogens like this. Then on the top of nitrogen is to valence electron nitrogen family has five valence electrons. So three of them are shared two more are unshared. So you have a lone pair here electron rich. So this will be known as a nucleophile. Illi, same way oxygen is bonded to hydrogen oxygen six valence here the one do here it will share again four more will be here. So this will be available as a lone pair again electron rich. So this will be known as nucleophile. Then I have a species here BF3. What is this BF3? Understand boron and add fluorines like this. Boron family group 13. Boron belongs to group 13. Est electrons here at the three. Okay. Now you see this. Uh, this is having two, four, six. Uh, six electron deficient. Octet complete agila deficient. So this will act as uh, electrophile. So they can and hit the basics of chemical bonding tumba bekagate valence electrons kutir bekagate so that you can easily understand anywhere octet incomplete octet incomplete electrophile or generally positive charge electrophile except your alkali alkaline earth metals and anywhere octet uh, like complete even though it carries a positive charge it cannot be a electrophile. If there is a lone pair available, definitely it will be a nucleophile. No doubt about that. For nucleophile, I will not check anything. Negative charge, nucleophile. Lone pair availability, nucleophile. Only when I have a positive charge, I need to think about a sulpa. Octet complete idea, illuano think marve kagate. Okay. Other than that, all nim the octet theory in a liaudella new exceptions anta you have considered. That is limitations of octet. They all behave as electrophiles, which are also known as Lewis acids. So this is the idea about attacking reagent. So we learnt about substrate, how the bond cleavage happens, homolytic, hydrolytic. And we learned about attacking reagent, how to decide whether it is a rich species or deficient species. Okay, so that further when we discuss or we learn about organic reactions, it becomes easy. I can easily say what is happening there. Okay, one such example I will write over here so that you can revise or you can relate what you have. Okay, so if I take one example here, CH3, I have. Wo here I'll take a CH3 Cl I will take okay and here I will take a sodium hydroxide which is an aqueous solution and I will write the reaction this CH3 OH I'll get methanol you can see methyl chloride to methanol and I will get the byproduct that is NaCl Iga. Nani reaction na, I can understand so easily right what is that? You know about sodium hydroxide, sodium will be plus, OH is minus. 
So OH minus here this Cl, you can see Cl is replaced by what? Is replaced by OH. OH, right? So this OH you can find in place of Cl. What is this OH? This was negatively charged, so you can easily call it as a nucleophile. And this nucleophile attacking here, you understand chlorine is more electronegative, delta negative. Carbon is now becomes a delta positive. We do electron deficient center, deficient center, right? So your nucleophile will attack this deficient center and push this leaving group out. So you will get CH3OH and the Cl will go with the Na, I can say. So nucleophile is substituting another nucleophile. So this is called nucleophilic, nucleophilic substitution. One group is substituted by another nucleophilic substitution reaction. Okay. You can do so many reactions and you can understand easily what is happening and what type of reaction it is fine yes sir do i have more time so that i can talk about few more reactions allah you expect me to stop here take another 10 15 minutes ma'am. i can take yes yes ma yes thank you sir then so then I can give a full stop also so that clarity will be there. So one type of reaction I told substitution. So this is basically I call it as nucleophilic substitution. Yes, students. Now look at the next case. CH3, C double bond. Uh, okay, I will talk about one electrophilic substitution. See for uh, appropriate substrate is important. I will take H here, okay, and I will take chlorine here, and over the arrow mark, I will write anhydrous aluminium chloride, okay, aluminium chloride. I will write the product, then only we will understand it. The same benzene ring, I am replacing hydrogen, and I will be putting chlorine over it, and my byproduct, I will write HCl. Ega, simple thing, Artha Markoli, Cl is substituted by OH. So for substitution, H is substituted by Cl. So I'll make this as H. H is substituted by what here? Cl. So substitution. Again, the reaction is substitution. But what way it will happen? Whether it is nucleophilic? I doubt because I can't see any nucleophile generated over here because it is a polar covalent, non-polar covalent bond. But you have a species here. What is that? Aluminium chloride. Aluminium chloride, Lewis acid, electrophile. So this is Lewis acid. It has a tendency to for look for electrons. So this will take away this chlorine with it. With the bonded pair. So that this chlorine will generate as what? Electrophile. So this electrophile, because benzene agle na nimi khele dini electron rich chirete. Electron rich chida ga yau do vallagade baroto that should come as a electrophile. Idu rich chida ga idu deficient barbe ko. Ilandre fighting agatav. Rich rich fighting will happen. So now this H is replaced by Cl substitution. But what kind of substitution? It is called electrophilic substitution. So, here is a substitution reaction. One is nucleophilic, another one is electrophilic. Okay. Can we have a free radical? Of course. Okay. So, if I take your uh, reaction of methane with chlorine, okay, methane with chlorine, formation of uh, methyl chloride and HCl. Illi, now heat at the light to gondaga in the case nodi. So this is a electron ritual deficient to Allah. Okay. So if I have all the three reactions, I thought it will be easy for you to relate. That's why I'll adjust here only. Okay, this let it attack this this way. Third one I'll take here. CH3. H I have taken. Cl, Cl I have taken. But look at the condition I'm using light. So I got CH3Cl and I got here HCl. Again, I'm asking you to concentrate on H. Okay, is replaced by Cl. So you are sure it is a substitution. One group is one atom is substituted by another. 
but will it come as a nucleophile chance ella this is again the same species non polar covalent bond will it come as a electrophile no supporting condition itara condition illa but light is there then this should undergo homolytic cleavage so which is coming in free radical so i call it as what a free radical substitution so so nice is the organic chemistry reactions by understanding bonding and how the reaction species can be generated you can easily say nucleophilic electrophilic and free radical so this is the basic to understand a substitution reaction so substitution where one atom is replaced by another or sometimes group also atom is replaced by a group of atoms so one replaced by another one the one the replace other we call it as substitution initiated by nucleophile electrophile or free radical this is three sub categories in a main substitution reaction okay na it is same thing let us try to apply for uh, addition reaction anta we will use sometimes okay yes so sometimes we will use a term addition reaction you might have learned already those were in first year or uh, second year you might have learned this reactions uh, addition reactions addition andre eno it should be added if i say 2 plus 2 is how much you should say 4 right you can't say 3 plus 1 again right that is property of addition is there but i can't say in organic chemistry this previous case you have seen i got two product and by product okay but look at the addition reaction i will take one particular species of so this that is ethene okay and uh, um, or better i think take uh, here propene only so that all explanation will be appropriate yes propene i have propene i'll take hbr okay hbr understand alkene propene means any alkenes are electron rich electron rich then here hbr hbr bond is you know hbr bond is polar difference in electronegativity h will be plus br will be minus so being electron rich this electron cloud will take home electron deficient so this is electrophile so substrate is receiving the electrophile first and look at it so the product here i'll write ch2 h will get added to this okay then i have ch ch3 as it is i will write and br i will add here this will come later once this comes in there is a carbocation generated over here if you want we can show that also so br minus will be here ch here with a positive charge and ch3 further this br minus will attack this carbon okay br minus will attack this carbon here and forms what ch2 h ch br and ch3 again i to you took hbr and you added across the double bond that's why we call it as addition nothing replaced you had a unsaturation unsaturation you converted into a saturated compound right saturated compound here these kind of reactions are called addition reaction so look at the next example same species i will consider that is propene only i'll consider hydrogen bromide only hbr but over the arrow mark i will make use of a peroxide peroxide so any peroxide i can use organic peroxide we need to use okay i'll represent it as this peroxide there is a peroxo bond the moment i carry out this reaction see electron rich no doubt about here okay but as the peroxide is there this will start the reaction this will undergo homolytic cleavage radical generated then this will undergo homolytic cleavage a radical is generated then this will also undergo homolytic cleavage and forms a product that is ch2 br ch2 ch3 a small difference will happen in the product you observe first case i had a br in the second carbon now in this case i have a br in the first carbon this is 1 2 3 if i number 1 2 3 if i number exactly reverse product i got that 
here two bromopropane here one bromopropane that is the difference brought by this peroxide where the reaction mechanism is what a free radical fischu caron you know so here we have a free radical addition free radical addition okay illa enaito this is electrophilic addition electrophilic addition okay Ega, what is the other category? Nucleophilic anton barata? Yes. So I have aldehyde taken here and I take hydrogen cyanide. Already I have introduced this reaction to you. This is negative. This is positive. Cyanide is here negative. This is positive. So cyanide negative part will attack this. Pi electron shift over here. Hydrogen will come and attach to that. Look at it. CH3, CH. This will become OH and your cyanide gets attached to this. Yelladralu one day observe maadi. Substrate plus attacking reagent gives single product. Substrate plus attacking reagent gives single product. Substrate plus attacking reagent gives single product. Because attacking reagent add to the substrate. Attacking reagent adds to the surface. Hence the reactions are called addition. Here. Nucleophile, cyanide, minus is what? Nucleophile. So this is called a nucleophilic addition reaction. Okay, nucleophilic. So electrophilic, free radical, nucleophilic. Here I had, this is rich, so I want to have poor. Here I had a peroxide, so it should be free radical. Peroxide always starts free radical reaction. Here we had nucleophile. This is the electron deficient center. So addition takes place and another thing double bond double bond double bond that means uh, addition reactions are the one which uh, you have unsaturated unsaturated compound and one with the double bond or triple bond gets converted it to saturated and all with a single bond that is a way you can decide what is a uh, addition reaction this is another main category substitution and addition one more important reaction is called elimination Elimination is very simple. If I take this substrate and add this, I'll get this. If I eliminate that group from this, I'll get back to the substrate. Elimination reaction is the exact opposite of addition reaction. Saturated compound gets converted into unsaturated compound. And in the elimination reaction, we don't talk about these varieties. Okay, elimination reaction, we talk in terms of what is eliminated. Water eliminate madre, we say dehydration. Hydrogen halide eliminate madre, dehydrohalogenation. Athra karitiv elimination reaction. Electrophilic atva nucleophilic anta, we won't consider. Okay. So, one example I'll add to that and then I will stop. Elimination reaction. Yes. So, elimination. Yes. So, let me consider here. CH3, the way I want to show the reaction, accordingly I will write the substrate. So I have CH3, CH2 here. I have a Br. This is nothing but ethyl bromide. Okay, ethyl bromide. And I will take a reagent over here that is called alcoholic potash, potassium hydroxide. If you use madre, you will get a product. Look at the product. CH2 plus HBr. Previous example, Pidre, you will find I have reversed the reaction. Correct? Adu adu togonda, I have prepared this. Now I am reversing it. So, what did you do? You have eliminated hydrogen and bromine. So, you got HBr, hydrogen bromide, as you are eliminating. So, how the reaction will work? A KOH is a minus. So, this OH minus takes up the proton. It base alva. Hydrogen nata godate. This bond will fold over here and this group will be displaced from this. As you are removing hydrogen halide, the reaction is called dehydrohalogenation. Anta. D means removal. Hydrohalogen. Halogen and hydrogen. So dehydrohalogenation. One important elimination reaction. So one more I will take up. You see here H and CH2 OH irate. Alcohol, ethanol, LR go familiar with ethanol. 
ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಥೆನಾಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಸಲ್ಫ್ಯೂರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ಓದಿರ್ತೀರಾ ಸಲ್ಫ್ಯೂರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ಡಿಹೈಡ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಓದಿರ್ತೀರಾ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅವೇ ವಾಟರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಎಥೆನಾಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಇಥೀನ್ ಸಿ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಡಬಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರಿಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಡಿಹೈಡ್ರೇಷನ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಡಿಹೈಡ್ರೇಷನ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ okay facilitated by sulfuric acid so you had a saturated so elimination only you have saturated compound and you convert that one into yen martidira double bond double bond so saturated is converted into unsaturated compound this is the elimination reaction okay so all the ideas about the basic reactions we have taken addition elimination and substitution with the nature of bond cleavage with attacking reagent uh, understanding further then reaction intermediates comes in you can decide the stability sometimes you write major product minor product all that can also be related further okay hope uh, we will stop at this level yes any questions you have i think i'll be most happy to answer the questions so any questions ಏನೇ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಉಪನ್ಯಾಸ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಮೇಲೆ ನೇರವಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಮನವಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ನಾನು ನಿಮಗೆ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದಾಗೆ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಟು ರೀಚ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ನ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಎ ಗುಡ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯುವರ್ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಅಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎನ್ ಆರ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸೌಮ್ಯ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ ತುಂಬ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿತ್ತು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಟಾಕ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕೇಳಿದೆ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯೋಫಿಲಿಕ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಫಿಲಿಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಡಿಷನ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಖಂಡಿತಾಂಕ್ Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Kandita. Okay, we will get back to you, sir. Hope it was useful for the students. Huh? Thank you. Yes, yes certainly. certainly. <laughs> yes. 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 Yes.